the Pittsburgh Steelers continue signing offensive linemen, inking LaRaven Clark to a deal, a, a bit of a surprising move late in free agency, but one that certainly helps their offensive line. They now add a new swing offensive tackle after losing Trent Scott to the Washington Commanders. Now Clark comes with 64 games of experience, 80 or 18, excuse me, starts throughout his career. He's a former third round draft pick for the Indianapolis Colts, spent the first four seasons of his career there before going to Philadelphia. He becomes the third Eagle, the third Eagles offensive lineman who played under Andy Weil during his time in Philadelphia to come to the Pittsburgh Steelers. There is a clear connection here. Andy Weidel knows his guys. He knows how to build an offensive line. He realizes that in names like Isaac Simalu, that's a starter. That's an instant starter. But names like Nate Herbig and now LaRaven Clark are names that could come in here and maybe they got swept under the rug in Philadelphia. Maybe they were starter capable or in, in the instance of Clark, backup capable and quality backup capable, but the Eagles had too many options. When you have a very good offensive line like Philadelphia has for the last five or six or seven years, it's very difficult to find new talent and say, hey, we have a place for you. Philly just didn't have that. Now the Pittsburgh Steelers are going, grabbing and reaping all the benefits of guys who did not stick in Philadelphia. How does the offensive line shape out with this move? Well, for starters, Isaac Siumalu seems to be the starting left guard in replace of Kevin Dotson, while Nate Herbig has center experience and experience on both sides of the offensive line and will likely be the swing guard. Kevin Dotson's future is certainly up in the air, and a trade is certainly possible, and I think that's the expectation moving forward. Anything could happen, but that is the anticipation. When it comes to the offensive tackle, as of right now, LaRaven Clark is the backup swing tackle. He will, re, will replace Trent Scott. That being said, I think the big question for everybody in mind is does that eliminate drafting an offensive tackle early for the Pittsburgh Steelers? I would say no. My instant reaction would still be that the Steelers have an offensive tackle in mind in those early picks, 17, 32, or 49. However, they also understand that not everything is scripted in the NFL draft, and they could find themselves in a situation where they don't have a guy that they feel comfortable with at 17 or at 32, and by 49, you're now looking at a deep second-round pick that likely, especially in this draft class where the offensive tackles are not very deep, nor are many of them outside of maybe the top two or three considering how you feel about Dewan Jones, are starter capable in year one. If they view it that way, they might say, hey, we'll hold off on an offensive tackle this year. We'll give Dan Moore Jr. time to develop. We'll see what happens. The Raven Clark is our swing guy. If not, I doubt this deal carries much, you know, standard or, or too much weight to get rid of it if the Pittsburgh Steelers feel that the Raven Clark does not have a place on the team come the regular season. But for right now, it's a good replacement of Trent Scott. It's a good quality swing tackle who has six years of NFL experience. He's got a relationship with Andy Weidel. He's got a relationship with Nate Herbig and Isaac Siumalu. It's a good move for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It really, really shows you that the Pittsburgh Steelers are all in on ramping up their offensive line. But I do not expect it to end here.